Evening guys, a Cumbrian lad here. Welcome to today's video. Um, I've had a fair busy day. It's uh, It's been a mad one to be fair. Our lass has just gone out to check on the horse. Um, and I've decided I'm going on my first ever solo wild camp. So I'm going to take myself away upstairs. I'm going to pack the hammock and tarp and my rucksack and sec. Um, and yeah, I'm going on my first solo wild camp. Looking forward to it. So I'm going to pack my stuff um, and I'll see you down by the river. Right, that's me away for my first ever solo. Um, just doing it local, just down the local woods on the River Eden, uh, just in case something does go wrong. And then um, it's not a big walk home. Um, yeah, if I'm being honest, nerves are maybe uh, settling in a wee bit. Good job there's a pub on the way. I might just accidentally fall in for a pint before heading down. Um, yeah, looking forward to it, but a little bit nervous, so. Cheers, everyone. That's good. Oh, I don't know, I feel better for that pint. I say I was feeling a wee bit nervous, but a bit of Dutch courage always works wonders. Uh, as you can see, I'm just heading down the local uh, woodland by the River Eden. If you look a few videos down, myself and Al have done a couple of hammock hangs down here before, uh, and it's quite uh, peaceful and quiet. I'm not heading down the river, or sorry, up the river, as far as that today. I just wanted to be a bit closer to home. Um, so. Some of you may have seen this footage before of the River Eden and the walk down, but I'll do it again for those of you that haven't uh, seen it. So. Just a little bit of a nice cool breeze tonight. It's been a very warm and muggy day today. A little bit of rain this morning. Um, the river was up quite a bit, but as you can, sh as you can see, she's uh, she's starting to drop. So fingers crossed we don't get too many midges tonight.
leave no trace. Ah, right. Not for everybody. Just a bit slope around here, but I'm sure we're not far off just through There's some big trees just up yonder. I reckon that'll be just grand. Oh, I'm gonna have a dig. Oh yes, I reckon somewhere out here will do just grand. The river's just making a nice little uh, bubble of noise there, not too loud. Um, so it should be a nice fall in the kip down here, I reckon, on me Todd for the first time. <laughs> Right, I'll get set up and uh, I'll show you what I'm using. Right guys, that's me all set up. Time we have now. It's about 25 past seven. So I've took my time, got things set up and what have you. So let's have a look at what I'm using tonight. Right, so I've got my DD 4x4 tarp set up um, in the A-frame configuration. I usually have the front side open, this side here, um, but the wind is just coming downstream a wee bit, so I'll, I'll put it down into the uh, traditional A-frame uh, configuration there. And inside, my tree hugs around the tree and it's a very very simple oh, I forget what it was off of eBay now I think it was it was 20 quid or something like that with a tarp as I explained in one of my other videos um, tarp wasn't much cop to be fair and that um, that ripped on the first outing so I went and bought myself the uh, the DD 4x4 but the little um, cheap hammock does me grand Absolutely grand. It's uh, it's comfortable as out. Um, I've had my tea at home, but I have um, I've got myself some bacon and some uh, buns to make some butties should I get hungry. A couple of drinkies in my uh, OEX Valo, um, and that's me set up for the night. Um, so yeah, let's just have a wander down. A wander down where I was stood before. And I'll show you upstream and downstream. <laughs> so as you can see, I am right on the river. And if you look through there, you can you can actually see the uh, housing estate on the uh, beginning of my village. So it is going to be a little bit of a stealth camp tonight as well. I'm not too far away from the, uh, the footpath, I'm not right on it, but um, yeah, we could have some people walking up and down late and early. We'll just have a look upstream. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, now the, my nerves have settled a wee bit. Right, so I've been down here a little bit now and I've just had a wander around. And this is all the crap that I've found lying around. I'm going to take it back with us. But um, I was going to do another video on Leave No Trace. But now seems an appropriate time after finding all this. So 
give me two seconds. I'm just going to go and sit myself by the river. Um, and we'll have a talk about leave no trace. Right, I'm I'm really disappointed in finding all that rubbish. Just not a 20 minute walk from my house. Down the local river, in the local woods. I mean, it's it's just not on. It's it, It's not on. So when you go out camping, when you go out walking, when you're doing anything, you must leave no trace. What does leave no trace mean? For me, leave no trace means if you take it with you, you take it home. That includes anything, whether it's a sweetie wrapper, bottle of pop, tin of pop, you know, anything. Anything you bring with you to go camping or to go out walking or outdoors, take it home. It's as simple as that. You know, there's been some shocking, absolutely shocking footages coming from the Lake District. Gas bottles, and I'm not talking cooking, camping gas bottles. I'm talking big gas bottles, tents, sleeping bags. Oops. You know, if you need to go to the bathroom for a number two when you're out camping, you dig yourself a hole. Make sure it's 50 metres away from camp and 100 metres away from any water source. You dig yourself a hole, do what you need to do, bury it. Either burn your toilet roll or take it home with you, because that doesn't degrade. Um, so we, we can't continue like this. We, we just can't. What's going to happen is, for those of us that do abide by the rules, we are going to be stopped. We're going to be stopped. The police are already liaising with um, the National Trust and stopping people camping. It's only tolerated at the moment, you know. We need to do everything as best as we can to the letter of the law, otherwise we'll be stopped. You know, these, these people are going to ruin it for everybody. They, they, they're getting the nickname fly campers because they're just going by cheap gear they go out unprepared go to the top of a mountain or not to the top of a mountain in some cases if you look at my bottom of your walk video you know there was they were just on the on the, on the lakeside you know not, not even making an effort to be covert and um, you know it's it's it, it's not on so leave no trace it's so important so important so please whenever you're out and about leave no trace please right that, that's that's enough of that I'm just sat here I'm just watching these ducks so I'm gonna spin you around because I'm just getting a bit of a wash look, look at that See if I can get a bit closer for you. No, they're away. Lovely to see that though. Just washing themselves in the uh, in the water where it's just where it's rolling over there. They were, they were just giving themselves a wee bit of a wash. Lovely to see that. Absolutely lovely. Right guys, it's about five past nine, we are starting to lose light a wee bit. Loving the sound of the river just bubbling past, absolutely mint. But, <laughs> I might have got a bit hungry, even though I've had my tea at home. I've decided to fire the bacon on. So, we've got my OEX Freister frying pan there, with my OEX Novo stove and we're using the Gerber complete system again if you haven't seen my videos on this it's a spatula stroke knife fork and spoon that comes together to make a tongue set 
and you've also got a multi-tool which is a potato peeler, bottle opener, can opener and sec and it's an absolutely cracking bit of kit um, so yeah I decided to have myself some uh, bacon butties so I've got three on and we've got another three to go and a couple of buns to make a couple of butties so in true uh, Cumbrian style proper good scran yeah, there's just something about the sound and the smell of bacon cooking on a campfire I'm really looking forward to these like oh <laughs> bacon I love bacon Oh, got my second butty on the go. Sorry, Romy Todd. Eating bacon, bacon butty. Listening to the river. Had a few people go past. I've seen them. They ain't seen me. Absolutely loving this. I wish I'd done it sooner. If I'm honest, I must prefer a bit of company, but I'm so glad I've done my first solo camp tonight. Just awesome. Absolutely awesome, guys. If you haven't done it, just do it. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to enjoy my butties, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, guys, it's getting on a bit now. <coughs> What time we at? About 20 to 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Lost the light now. It's getting dark. And uh, really enjoyed them bacon butties. I'm so glad I decided to come out tonight and do my first solo camp. It's really nice, man. If I'm being perfectly honest, I must prefer a bit of company, to be fair. But really enjoying tonight nice and quiet on my own just the sound of the river going past a few bacon butties and a couple of drinkies it's all good so I'm going to get myself away to bed get my head down and uh, get myself back home early doors in the morning so sleep tight guys Morning guys, it's, it's about half past hour. Slept right through. Um, no problems whatsoever. Um, yeah, I should have done this a long time ago, my first solo, but like I say, I do quite like having a few folk around for a bit of a crack. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be doing this again. Absolutely great. As you can hear, the river's just flowing past, just nice still. And it's, it's actually raining a little bit. You just hear the sound of the rain on the tarp. So, yeah, with it being a kind of on-the-spot camp, I just brought my bacon with us last night. Um, so, I'm normally up this time anyways for work. So I'll not be getting back to sleep. So I'm going to get myself up and um, packed away. Get myself home for a cup of tea and something to eat. Right guys, it's me just about ready to get home now. That's where I had all the litter that I picked up and stuff there. And right underneath me, just got my tarp left up at the minute. And there's a bin bag of rubbish. And as you can see, it's where I was cooking. Absolutely left no trace at all, which is how it should be. Right, so like I say, just need to get me tarp taken down and then I'm going to sell away yam for a cup of tea and a bite to eat. Thank you very much for clicking on my video. I hope you've enjoyed it, especially with it being my first solo camp. Like I say, I should have done it a long time ago. Definitely be doing it again. Um, so for now, that's all from me. <laughs> Take care. Much love from a Cumbrian lad.